Hello friends, in the series of learning C++ programming, in the previous session we have just discussed about new and delete operator. In this session we will talk about manipulators concept. These manipulators are nothing but operators. We can use manipulators to format data display. Getting format data display means whenever we are displaying something onto the output screen and whatever we are displaying if you want to format that then you can use these manipulators. And these manipulators are present in this iomanip.h, iomanip header file. If you are using the Turbo C like previous compilers, Turbo C++, then you have to write here iomanip.h. Okay, this iomanip header file is including some manipulators or you can say that uh, operators for formatting data display. And from that two operators I am going to explain that is end end and set width. These two manipulators are most commonly used manipulators. That's why here I'm going to display these two manipulators. Okay, now see in C++ program, if we want to display anything onto the output screen, then we use Cout statement. And that's why we have to use these manipulators inside that Cout statement. Because Cout statement we want, we are using to display something onto the output screen. Getting? Now see. This endl manipulator and set width manipulator, these are most commonly used manipulators. Now this endl is just like a slash n, means if you want to put anywhere slash n, then instead of that slash n you can put endl manipulator, you can use endl manipulator. That's it, only this is the use. And this set w, set w manipulator is used to set field width by displaying any value or any string. Getting now see how to use these two manipulators. The first thing end l end l means let just like slash l. If I have written like this c out hello and let I am writing on the new line like c out what then of course what output we will get hello and then what on one line only. Why? Because these are two statements, but if you want to display anything onto the new line, then compulsory you have to put slash n there. Because C out will not attach that slash n automatically at the end of this display. See this slash n you can put here or before this world again. Again fine. Okay, because of slash n cursor will be shifted to the new line. And instead of that slash n we can use endl in this way. getting that's it don't put here that double quote string format because this is not a string this is just a manipulator don't place that in double quote always keep in mind getting now this is how to use this handle manipulator now the next is set width see this set width manipulator we can use to set field width means if you want to go if you are going to display any string or if you are going to display any value of a variable then before displaying you can set field width and according to that field width the output will be displayed. How? Let us see the example a equals to 15, b equals to 10 and c equals to 150. Now and one more variable is there like sum. Inside sum I have calculated like a plus b plus c. And I just want to display all the values one by one means first I will display values of a, b and c and after that I will display sum. Now how we will do that like c out then we will write like a equals to then we will just display value of a. In the same way we will write like this here I am putting that end l. Now you know this end l. Okay b equals to then b again end l next c out c equal to c then again and then and finally i want to display sum in this now output will be like this see the output will be a equals to 15 b equals to 10 c equals to 1 50 and here sum equal to 100 75 getting in this way we will get output but see i want just a formatted output how in this way 
I want that the output should get displayed in this way. This is just a proper way to display sum of numbers. For that we have to use this set width manipulator. Now see set width manipulator what is the syntax to use this set width set w and in round bracket we have to pass field width. This is field width and this is actually the integer value and that we have to use inside C out statement. Okay now this field width whatever you are specifying that width will be set to that output display. Always keep in mind the strings are always getting displayed in left justified way and numbers are displayed right justified after setting field width. Okay now see how it will work. See let we have written in this way we have to set field width every time whenever we are displaying uh, the string or the value. Okay now how we will change this see in this way like see out first we will set width of this display up to this see here 1 2 3 maximum characters are 1 2 3 okay after that equal to symbol is okay that's why here we will set field width for that a again 3 getting because i want here space now here we can set field width like set w 3 for this particular variable we have to set width like 1 2 3 then equal to we have to display and the before that we have to display a a just like a string i don't want here to display value of a i just want to display a okay that's why we will display like a and after that c we have to display this is equal to getting but for a only i want to set this field width for not for equal to that's why just display here equal to after that a getting this set width 3 will be applicable only for the coming string or coming variable it will not applicable for everything okay every time whatever you are going to display for that again and again you have to set field width getting now after that we will display like again we have to set width to 3 for displaying that value of variable and go to new line for that i am using here a and end see again same thing we have to do set width 3 then b here b will get displayed in these three places but strings are always displayed left justified that's why b will be displayed on the left hand side and the two spaces will remain blank and after that we are displaying that is equal to then again we have to set width for this value that is a value of b that is again one two three then b and then and l getting in the same way we have to write the next statement getting then sum for sum again we will write the same thing that is set width three then sum equal to then set width again 3 and sum getting in this way we can use this set width manipulator to display output in this format that's it about manipulators in the next session we will see control structures in c++ till that take care bye bye thank you